In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix it when your PS5 is not connecting to your internet. And this video assumes that you can use your internet on other devices. So the first thing you want to do is go up to settings in the top right corner. From here, we're going to go to network. We're going to go to connection status and we're going to go to test internet connection. Now, sometimes your internet on your PS5 won't work if you have slow internet and your PS5 is far away from your router. So I believe PS5 recommends you have a download of at least 25 megabytes per second and upload of 10 megabytes per second to ensure you have a good experience playing games online. Now let's say your PS5 is far away from your router. Something I recommend you try if you're using wireless and you have a slow internet is to move your PS5 closer and see if that fixes your issue. In addition to that, I always recommend, if possible, to use a wired connection, especially if you have slow internet. Um, it's just going to provide a much more stable connection and can seemingly really much improve everything just about your experience. Now, let's say you're using a wired connection, your PS5 is close, that's not your issue. Something else you could try is go to settings. From here, you could go to set up internet connection and you could try disconnecting from your Wi-Fi, so press X on your registered network and go to OK, and then try reconnecting. Now, let's say that doesn't fix your issue either. Something else you could try, which is pretty simple, is just restarting your PS5. So press the PlayStation button, scroll down to the bottom. You could, of course, press the power button on your PS5, go to power, and go to turn off or restart, and then turn it back on. Another thing you could try, although it might not work considering the fact that your, um, your internet does work with other devices, is restarting your router. Um, so unplug that for 30 to 60 seconds. You could also do that with your PS5. Unplug it for 30 to 60 seconds. Plug them back in and see if that fixes your issue. Now, if none of these steps are working, I mean, you could go onto your other device and see if the PlayStation network is up. So view PlayStation network status. And between all these, you know, if these are all green, that's good. It means all services are up or running. If some of them are down, well then of course, that could be the issue too, not being able to connect to the PlayStation network. But between all these steps, I'd say this would probably fix 99% of people's issues. Appreciate you all guys, and we'll see you in the next one.